don't want to walk into it with me because I have no idea where I'm going. There's an awful lot of people here. We're at the Forbidden City. Um, I have an electronic map to help me. And an earpiece to kind of tell me a few things that's going on. But I still really don't know. Oh, so we're just going to pretend. And of course it snowed in Beijing, which is actually quite funny. This today is supposed to be the um, Festival of Lanterns, which means um, pretty much the celebration of spring. <laughs> Seemed like home. Let's see all the lions and dragons on top of the roof. this yet now let's see my room okay so everything is super cool and themed through here right over here is the bathroom cool little toy story characters all the favorites and a nice checkerboard on here we've got some um, cups in for here and some amenity kits, mostly with toothbrushes and stuff as well. Um, some laundry detergent in case uh, I need that. And of course a couple of things of drinking water as they um, say you cannot drink the water here. Uh, we come out into here and voila! And of course we have a little buddy here on our bed that gets a bed all to himself. He's quite excited. Um, some good, uh, looks like instant tea, and, oh, and some coffee and stuff. And we do have a mini fridge that's hidden in here. And a nice little sitting area to be able to eat. 
over here in our lovely little Rubik's Cube is a safe and another shelf um, with a flashlight. All hotels so far that I've seen around here all have um, flashlights stored around. And uh, oh, open the so down where the front lobby is and the buses come in and out and you can see it's kind of like a little bit of a putting green over there for the design parking lots way over there in the back it's not very busy right now uh, but Chinese New Year did just end so um, I kind of half expected it to be a little bit on the slower side so that's it and for your guide for the room for now Okay, this is actually a really rare phenomenon. I don't see a lot of people around. I got an extra an hour, an hour and 20 minutes to get into the gate early. I've already ridden a couple of rides, no lines. We're trying to hit all the major ones. But look, it's weird. There's nobody here. It's a very strange. Alright. Well, you'll see more from me later. Okay, this is my final hotel at Shanghai. This is the Shanghai edition. Um, this is the room um, that's a higher end product of the Marriott. So it's more like a suite. Just kind of go over it like this first. Um, when I walked in here, the drapes automatically opened. We have a nice seating area over here. Looking out into my bedroom. And a desk area, which is definitely for a business traveler. It has so many plugs, for all types of things in here. There are two climate controls in this room. And we come over here where we have a bunch of lovely controls. So let's put some oh, light on here. We're gonna open up our drapes. And there's one for the sheer to um, this audio pro whatever <laughs> is supposed to be able to sync up to all my music and stuff as well. Um, not really sure what uh, scene one and scene two are yet. Um, we'll find out later. Nice, soft, cozy blanket. Um, super, super spacious. It's insane and completely separated from the bathroom, so you would never know that you were in a hotel room. So then let's go over to here. Put some lights on. So tons and tons of privacy in here. Um, if you're staying with your family or such. Now oh, everyone has a scale, it's so silly. Lots of amenities, dental kits, shaving kits, um, shower cap, vanity. And then of course we have a separate um, toilet room. Nothing fancy in there. Then we come into here and we have for one 
the shower that's right there or a full rain shower up top. I think that's the biggest rain shower I've ever seen in my life. Or this sweet bathtub. And again, um, it has a remote control for the shades. I closed them earlier. Maybe I have no idea what I'm doing now. But I'll figure it out in a bit. Um, but definitely going to soak my long, achy feet in there tonight. And that is my room. There's trees up there. And if you can see in the big distance, there's like the more modern type high rises. It's quite the contrast. In the purple, um, in the observation deck. First of all, you can see it. Are you really ready for it? Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 